we've come across some horrific scenes. Um, mm, you know, you lose your faith in humanity. Oh, sorry. In May 2014, we received a call from a manager of a reserve just outside of Hootsbreit, informing us that his um, rhino cow has been shot and killed by poachers. Um, we knew at that stage she had a little calf with her. He was, he was curled up next to his dead mother. We stabilized him with IV fluids and we immediately rushed him to Hootsbreit Endangered Species Center. Dr. Rogers, actually I remember it like it was yesterday, he actually came with his car with the little rhino in the back. Because it was only a month old, it was literally about this size. And he was then later named Gerki, after the manager Gert. Yeah, Gerki was from day one. He was so very special. He was not aggressive. He climbed into our, our hearts. When I started working here, it was the first time I met Gharki and Matimba, and they were tiny. You wouldn't see Gharki without Matimba close to his side. The relationship the two had with each other was an unbreakable relationship, a, a proper big brother, little brother relationship. You literally have to sit with that animal 24-7 so that he gets used to you being there. We put in uh, what we call surrogate mothers. Um, we use sheep at the Hootspray Land Peace Centre. The rhino actually doesn't know um, this is not another rhino, he just sees us as a companion and a friend that's constantly with him. It's not an easy job at all. It's very long hours, it's hard work, it's emotional. You get so attached to these animals, it's like it's your own animal, your own child that you are busy raising. My plan was to get Gharke Matimba to walk behind the car, follow us all the way out. I thought we were going to struggle a little bit with them, but they were very good boys this morning, worked together. They just decided, okay, no, this is it. So they turned left and then off they went. How can you go and tell the next generation that we only got the big four, if we used to have a big five? The responsibility is huge and if we get sponsorship like we get from Investec, we can do so much more. They are being destroyed by us, the human race. A rhino is an iconic species and we have to do everything in our power to save the species. To see him now being released, it's an incredible feeling. It's just incredible. It makes it all worthwhile. <laughs>